Hey, what's going on guys? Pete the Guttural Monk here. It's been about uh, two months since my last video update. I've uh, picked up a ton of new stuff from 2015 that I'd like to share with you. As you can see, I changed the camera angle around a little bit so you can get a better view of the bulk of the collection. Um, this is only about two-thirds of it. The rest is hanging out in the far corner of the room. Please subscribe and uh, I'll be more inclined to eventually do more and more videos based on the gems in the collection and kind of go through and, and show you some of my favorite albums uh, that I've picked up over over the years there. Um, first things first, this is uh, Tome of the Unreplenished. This album is called Inner Standing. Uh, it's out now on iVoid Hanger Records. Uh, pretty standard jewel case release. Um, ambient, atmospheric, one man black metal hailing from the island of Cyprus. Really kind of deep, thought-provoking stuff. Um, I definitely recommend taking the whole album in at once rather than breaking it into bits and pieces. It is much better consumed that way. Um, really killer stuff. Uh, next up is uh, Nink Harsag. Uh, the name of this album is The Blood of Celestial Kings. Uh, these guys are from Liverpool, England. Uh, it's out right now on Candlelight Records. Really kind of raw, thrashy um, black metal. Um, Fast-paced, really uh, ass-kicking kind of album, right for the throat. Uh, next up is Dine Fari. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this album, but it's out right now on Code 666 Records. Um, it is two-man atmospheric black metal from Iceland. Um, really kind of cold, soul-crushing, emotional stuff. Um, this is their third full-length release. I think it's easily their best work yet. Um, check it out. Definitely, definitely recommend it. This one actually comes in a really cool uh, tri-fold digi-wallet there. Um, Great presentation, great album as well. Um, next up is from the New York classic death metalers, Skinless. This is Only the Ruthless Remain. This is their first new album in nine years. Uh, this is their fifth full-length album. Just like the rest of their back catalog, it's not super impressive, but uh, these guys have done enough for the scene that they are worth your support. At least check it out, stream it if you can. Um, next up is Ashbringer. Uh, this album is called Vacant. This copy is out on uh, Primal Relics Records. This one was limited to 60 copies. Really cool because it came with this bonus. Um, it's the instrumental version of the album uh, in, just a, in just a little uh, cardboard sleeve. It also came with a handwritten lyric sheet um, as well as a personalized letter from who I can only assume is Nick Stranger although he might be the guy who runs Primal Relics Records. I really don't know. Anyway, Vacant is uh, is an incredible album. Uh, it's one man, atmospheric black metal, insane musicianship. Um, it was actually reissued already by Avant-Garde Music in a really sick digipack. Um, definitely on my list of releases to pick up in the future. But as for right now, I'm pretty content with, uh, with the limited edition or first pressing, however you want to call it. Um, next up is Merg. Merg, this is uh, Vjorg and Bjorn. Um, this is out now on Nordvis. Um, really killer throwback, raw, foresty black metal, um, folk influences. These guys are from Sweden. Um, really kick-ass throwback black metal from uh, from the days of good and long, long ago. Anyway, um, Galler is next. Um, this album was so freaking anticipated for me. Um, this is their third full length. This is the first one in a couple years. I think it's been five years. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name of the album, but uh, I mean, extremely well produced. It's such a great effort. Uh, melodic black metal, uh, lots of folk influence to it. The amount of different instruments used on this album is nothing short of impressive. Um, it's easily going to be one of the best records of the year. Do not sleep on it. Um, obviously I'm going to link all of these at the end, so uh, you can keep up that way. Uh, next up is Continuum. Uh, this album is The Hypothesis. It's out now on Unique, Le Le uh, Unique Leader Records. Um, really sick, technical, explosive death metal. Um, it contains members of Decrepit Birth, Son of Aurelius, Animosity, Odious Mortem, um, Inanimate Existence, really fucking crushing stuff. Um, it's basically everything you would expect from Unique Leader, kind of coalescing into one giant release, and uh, super awesome. Uh, it's only about a half hour long, so it's uh, it's in constant rotation. Uh, next up is Hermidor. 
Um, so I featured the Debt Fort Faluna um, compilation on the first video. This is the newest full-length Kriegsteed. Um, this was actually released at the very end of 2014. Finally reissued in, I believe, April by uh, Wolfspell Records. Uh, it says one man Swedish atmospheric black metal. Um, easily his most complete work to date. Um, the future is pretty much endless for him. I can't wait to see what he does next. And uh, I'll be buying it. That's for damn sure. Next up is the, the new one from Six Feet Under. This is Crypt of the Devil. So Six Feet Under kind of has a reputation for being this groovy death and roll kind of bullshit. Um, however, this time uh, Chris Barnes partnered with the Hall Brothers, the guys that bring you uh, Municipal Waste, um, I believe Iron Reagan, and um, uh, Cannabis Corpse. So it's kind of fitting that Chris Barnes would partner up with the guys from Cannabis Corpse and create a pretty damn good death metal record. Um, Obviously, I think this is the best that Six Feet Under as a band has ever sounded, although they've been kind of coming to within their own um, over the last couple albums. Um, anyway, Crypt of the Devil is definitely one to check out, if any, from Six Feet Under. Next up is uh, Chrome Dube. Uh, this is out now on Van Records or Vaughn Records. Um, this is another one from England, which is absolutely fantastic. The packaging on this one um, is this awesome kind of matte cardboard digipack, um, super detailed, I just love the, uh, the feel of it, um, again, atmospheric black metal, um, but really kind of crushing, some of the best riffs that I've heard this year, um, and honestly, the track, uh, Sedition is, uh, is one of my favorite tracks of the year, um, these guys are from England, and they really kick ass. Uh, you should definitely check them out, as well as Van Records or Vaughn Records, because they're putting out some really incredible stuff. Um, another one from that label is the brand new one from Sulphur Aeon. Uh, this is Gateway to the Antisphere, and the packaging is probably the best that I've seen this year. Awesome little outer sleeve with the silver foil print. Um, the cover artwork for this album is absolutely gorgeous um obviously this image is not doing it justice but the music inside is just as fucking awesome as the uh as the artwork trifold digi um just beautiful beautiful release um this is easily going to be one of the best albums of the year it's absolutely crushing songwriting is incredible um it was really kind of difficult to imagine a follow-up from swallowed by the ocean's tide being as good as gateway to the antisphere is but these guys somehow pulled it off um again one of the best records of the year do not sleep on it i'm going to link it at the end make sure you check it out um one more from van records um macabre omen um, this is Gods of War at War. Um, this label obviously focuses on some really fucking awesome packaging. This is foil stamped in gold foil. Um, it's textured. It's awesome. It kind of has that matte finish again. Um, just simple digi, no trifold here. Um, so, Macab Omen is a two-man pagan epic black metal group, um, originally from Greece. Really kind of battle-oriented. Really impressive stuff, um, really sincere, and the vocal deliverance is unbelievable. The first time I spun the album, I was just focusing on his vocals. Um, really, really powerful stuff. Um, up there with my favorite Greek black metal bands already, and this is the first that I've really heard of them. Uh, I'll definitely be checking out the back catalog at some point. Um, next up, this album has been getting flamed recently. This is Ghost Baths, Moon Lover. Um, it's out now on Northern Silence. Hey, look, I think it's okay. The black gaze thing is kind of not my uh, not my bag, but I do like the depressive black metal aspect of it. Um, I got to say, when I first heard this album, I truly thought they were from China. Um, that whole thing being now from South Dakota or North Dakota or something like that um, kind of takes a little bit of their mystique away. Um, and I got to say, I usually love Northern Silence's packaging, but this has got to be the ugliest Northern Silence release that I've ever seen. That's a beautiful image there, and they just surrounded it in this really shitty border. Um, anyway, jewel case release. Uh, I, I didn't spend the extra money on the digi. Um, sue me. Whatever. Um, next up from Belgium, uh, Ghent to be more specific, is uh, Wijehoud. Um kick-ass black metal um, of the atmospheric variety. Um, these guys came out of seemingly nowhere. This is their first release. Um, Trifold Digi, it's in a wallet form there. 
Um, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name of the album, but this is totally going to be on my Albums of the Year list as well. Um, really, really impressive stuff. And uh, like I said, this is their, their first release. There's been no demo, no EP, no nothing. And they seem to have quite the, uh, quite the following already. So um, definitely check them out. Um, next up from Lava Dome Productions is um, Ad Nauseam, um, some album title in Latin that I'm not even going to attempt. Um, really sick technical death metal from Italy. Um, some of the most high quality packaging of the year so far um, comes in this really cool fold out insert that is one of the thickest grade cardboards that I can remember. Um, Really impressive stuff. Uh, these Italians are just blasting their way into one of my favorite new technical death metal bands. They were members of another band, and I forget offhand um, who they were with, but uh, check them out for sure. Uh, next up from Nuclear War Now Records is Embrace of Thorns. This one is Darkness Impenetrable. Um, I think this came out technically in 2014 as well. Um, it was released as like a picture LP or something like that, but it's since had a proper CD release. And I want to show you the album artwork, because that might be one of my favorites of the year. Um, really kind of cool, heads exploding into white flame, um, black and death metal. Um, another band from Greece. Really, really assaulting stuff, um, as Nuclear War now is pretty much known for. Um, really impressive. Another one from them is uh, Mephetic or Mephetic. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that one. Uh, the name of this album is Woes of Mortal Devastation or Devotion. Woes of Mortal Devotion. Um, really doomy, sewer, dripping death metal, but it has kind of like a cleaner production than most in its style. Um, probably going to be on my albums of the year list as well. Um, the bulk of this year has been very, very impressive so far. Um, fans of Portal, Wrath Player, Titan Blood would really kind of get down with their stuff. Um, check them out, obviously out now, Nuclear War Records. Nuclear War Now Records. Next up from Gothenburg, Sweden is Monolord. Uh, Vanir is the name of this album. Really crushing doom metal. This is uh, their primary release, just a simple two-panel digipack. Um, some of the heaviest guitar tone crunches that I've heard this year. Um, just massive, massive production done to this album. They kind of dwell on a riff for a little too long sometimes, uh, especially in the title track. But uh, it, is, it is totally an album that you should check out this year. Um, and they're relatively unknown as well. I think they had one album previously to this, but uh, I sure as hell have not heard it. Um, next up from 20 Bucks Spin, this is Obsequie or Obsequi. Um, awesome medieval flavored black metal. Um, these guys employ a full time harpist, which is fucking metal as fuck. Um, two panel digi, awesome gold embossment. Um, this is. Uh, it, it's absolutely incredible the way that they were able to truly transport the listener to whatever dimension they want their music to be uh, conceived in. Um, really, really special stuff. Um, next up is uh, Vorum. These guys are from a uh, small island nation off the coast of Finland, I believe. Uh, this one's called Current Mouth. Uh, it is their follow-up to the... Super well-received Poison Void from 2013, I believe. Um, this EP is only about five tracks long. It's 20 minutes. It has no direction similar to their first full length. Um, their first full length was kind of old-school death metal focused, a little bit thrashy, faster paced. This is straight chaos, grindcore, in vein of like old carcass and, uh, and all that good stuff. Um, definitely check it out. It's out now on Sepulchral Voice Records. So, yeah, Sepulchral Voice Records. Probably not saying that right, but whatever. Uh, last release from 2015 that I've got is um, House of Atreus. Um, these guys are out now on Dark Descent Records. Um, melodic Death Metal. Another one from, uh, where are they from? Freaking Minnesota or something like that. Um, really cool stuff. Um, very, very uh, impressive, you know, melodic death metal in a, in a year that there hasn't been much quality melodic death metal released. Um, now the reissues. Um, actually, no, I've got something different than my usual here. Um, I don't collect vinyl, as you can tell. I'm definitely more of a CD guy. But uh, 
Abyss, Heretical Anatomy um, from 20 bucks spin. Definitely caught my attention this year. Um, it's kind of crusty, throwback, old school death metal. Um, the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. Um, one I had to pick up when I was buying that Obsequy album anyway. Um, it was just there, and I figured uh, this will be a cool one to add to the collection. So I wanted to do that as well. I don't know what the fuck is going on with my camera right now. I want to see if I can't figure it out so I don't have to record this all over again. And we're still rolling, all right. So now the reissues right quick. Um, first up is uh, Excruciate and Epitaph. Um, this is the uh, one of the classic splits of the Swedish death metal old school era, 1991. I think it was originally released. Um, Dark Symphonies Records just put this one out uh, a couple weeks ago. It's the first time this split has ever actually been released officially on CD. There was some kind of bootleg or something like that a couple of years ago or last year or something like that. So uh, it's cool to have that one in the collection. I can finally throw my burn out and uh, put an actual copy into the uh, into the wall there. Uh, next up from Dark Descent is Sarcasm. This is Burial Dimensions. This is an awesome little uh, two disc um, featuring basically their entire discography. I think it's something like six demos plus the unreleased Burial Dimensions album from uh, 1994. Brand new artwork from Raul Gonzalez who did uh, who did some of my band's work a couple months ago. Um, he's incredible. They're incredible. Dark Descent obviously is incredible. So definitely check that one out uh, since it's the first time it's ever been released on uh, on CD. Next up is another one from Northern Silence. This is Soar. Uh, this is uh, Roots. This is his first full length. Um, originally released under the name Arceta or Arceta. Um, three panel digi. Um, Northern Silence always puts out some great stuff. Uh, it's cool to see this one reissued. It has a bonus track to it. Um, if you haven't heard his second full length Aura from last year, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, actually features Austin Lund from Panopticon on drums. Um, really complete, awesome, atmospheric stuff. Speaking of atmosphere, this is probably the coolest pickup of the year so far. I'm just as giddy about this as I was about the Demo-like collection, um, the 20th anniversary um, deal from last year out on Svart. This is another one from Northern Silence. This is uh, Horn's first two full lengths, um, Jarreitsen and Decraft der Sensarian. Um, Jarreitsen has never been released on CD before. And uh, it comes in this freaking amazing, massive, fold-out digi wallet. Um, I, I, I can't say enough good things about Horn. If you're any kind of uh, atmospheric black metal fan, I highly recommend that you check out his work. Speaking of Panopticon, I think Austin Lund is the one who actually turned me on to, uh, to his music there. And I uh, can't say enough good things about it. Um, next up, just... Uh, Touching back to the Inquisition, um, I showed you the first three in the first video. This is number four. This is Nefarious Dismal Orations. Um, Season of Mist is putting out these uh, reissues this year. Standard Digipack, um, two panel, new artwork. Paolo Girardi did, uh, did an amazing job as he usually does. Um, music was touched up a little bit, but not too much. That album didn't sound bad upon release anyway. Um, next up is the Winter Felleth, um, Fathers of Albion, um, 2007 to 2013 box set. Um, so this features their first three full-length albums, plus a bonus disc of demos, EPs, split material, unreleased stuff. Um, basically, Candlelight is just riding the hot hand on their 2014 release, which was... Oh God, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, some the divination of antiquity. Um, really, really awesome stuff. Anyway, but uh, this is this is all of their material in one, you know, two wide, double disc box set. Um, double disc, four disc box set, I should say. Um, it's super affordable. I think I paid like under twenty bucks for this. Um, it's out right now. Like I said, Candlelight Records is. Uh, is definitely killing it on the reissue side this year because they have a new one. Or they have another reissue from Blue Dust Nord coming out. I think they're reissuing all of Abigail Williams' material, so uh, they're definitely uh, they're definitely keeping it real to the throwback stuff. Uh, and last but not least is a real cool one. Relapse has totally got some points back for reissuing the three key Razor albums. 
Razor, if you don't know, is uh, one of the best kept secrets from the late 80s, early 90s um, thrash metal scene in Canada. It is straight violence on record. Um, really awesome stuff. Super fast paced, break your neck kind of shit. So this is open hostility, violent restitution, and shotgun justice. Every single one of these is remastered. It has bonus tracks on every one, studio demos that people have never heard before. Um, they're all embossed with this like shiny, awesome logo on the uh, on, on the outer sleeve. Um, standard jewel case release inside. Um, really, really awesome that these are finally actual copies in my collection. Um, Razor's a band that I really wasn't into. Um, much previously until a buddy of mine turned me on to them quite recently but uh i went from you know knowing nothing to a super fan overnight and i think you will too if you're into sodom or any of those kind of old school very aggressive violent thrash metal bands and that's pretty much all i got uh i took up 20 minutes of your time i apologize um i'll see you again in like two months thanks